Who doesn't like a good glass of wine? I know I do. Got a couple of bottles on hand all the time, so I gotta have a wine rack. Now I was doing some shopping with my mom just at a local store that has a lot of like industrial looking stuff, which I really like. And I saw this wine rack that I knew that I could DIY. So I snapped a photo of it and it was like $60 and I made it using like my recycling. So you will need at least five cans that are the same size that will fit a wine bottle. Also some spray paint, a can opener, hot glue gun, scissors, and then some printouts. Um, so I eat a lot of hummus. I make it myself, so these are all chickpea cans. I collected these cans for a while, and um, one thing I realized is that not all cans are the same. So make sure that the can is the exact same on the top as it is on the bottom. Some bottoms won't actually be allowed to be opened with a can opener. I found that out the hard way. So you'll need to open up the bottoms of each can with your can opener and then peel off all of the labels. You can use that label as a bit of a template for your new labels that are going to come from print offs off the internet. And as you can see, mine was a little bit big. I just kind of eyeballed it when I printed them off at work. So I did need to trim these designs down a little bit. If you're wondering what I picked, I chose some vintage wine labels and literally all I did was Google that and I found some labels that I liked, put them into a Word document, laid it out on a landscape piece of paper, stretched the image so that it was as long as it could go and um, made it about as wide as I thought I needed it to be. So it's not quite as long as the normal label should be, but it's okay. Um, so I did go out and I spray painted these cans. I didn't get it on video, but I went outside and did that. Make sure you get the entire inside of the can as it will be shown and then just the edges of the rest of the can the rest gets covered up by your new label so I added these labels on with just some hot glue really simple once they were cut down to the proper size and like I said they're a little bit short but that's okay because that space is all going to get covered up when we actually add these all together and all I did was just hot glue them together like a lot of hot glue as you can see um, so there I'm hiding the bad spots and I glued them together and clamped them together while the glue dried just to make sure that that stuck. So I did the bottom three and then I glued the top two together. And then once those were set in place, I glued the two top ones to the three bottom ones. That's just the... Uh, kind of shape that I wanted to make. Now I did go back and I tried to wedge in some extra hot glue to make sure that it stuck really well and again clamped everything together. Once it's all dry you just remove the clamps and add some wine. If you like this DIY, let me know. Give me a like. And if you like wine as well, please let me know what your preference is, red or white. You can comment below with your answer. And uh, you can make that as big or as small as you like, depending on how many bottles of wine you like to have on hand all of the time. So if you make this for yourself, send me some photos. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, at Janelle Steeper. Tag me in those photos so I can see your DIY. And don't forget to subscribe. Next Wednesday, I'll be back with a new video. Cheers. Wine black, wine black. That's not a tongue twister, I just can't talk. Dang it. <laughs>